Hi everyone, I'm Veer Mahajan and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the new campaign trail game. I already made a video about how to play the uh, the campaign trail game, which is an older version of this game. Um, and if you, I'll also link that game in the, uh, the, that video in the description, along with the link for this game. So over here, if you click on click here to begin, that's the same as the other game, uh, almost exactly the same. Um, but over here, the real stuff which changes everything is over here in the mod loader. Uh, and this this just changes the background, but the mod loader changes a lot of things. So over here, uh, there's a drop down menu with a lot of options in it. Uh, like not just presidential elections either. It's got separate uh, uh, scenarios in presidential elections, a lot of uh, presidential elections that aren't in the original game. And it's got other elections as well, not presidential elections. Um, and I'm going to go with this second option, uh, third option, uh, 1796 Adams. And I'm going to click submit. Um, there used to be some um, before you write, uh, before you um, make any input here, like before you choose anything here. There's also some other option for endings code and stuff, but I'm just going to ignore that and also just ignore this uh, file thing. And I'm going to click submit. So now it's saved all of that. And now I'm going to click click here to begin. It's gone to this selection automatically. I can't change that. So continue. John Adams. Uh, I'm not going to go with Thomas Jefferson if I do that. Since the person who I want to run as over here and the person who I want to run as over here, since they're different, it's going to change the results in the end. So I'm just going to go as John Adams and now continue. There's only one option here, so I'm going to click continue. And here uh, I can change these things if I want, but I'm just going to stick with the normal ones and then click continue. Over here, uh, this election seems wrong. It's a different election uh, with Henry Clay and Theodore Frelinghuysen in it. And to fix that, I'm going to go to the latest polls slash electoral map and then go back. And now it's been updated properly. Uh, there are lots of questions over here, 25. I'm just going to click on uh, the first one and then I'm going to skip the rest of the questions and then I'll come back at the end. OK, I'm back and I've done the first 23 questions. Uh, and now there are a few more questions left. So I'm going to click on latest polls slash electoral map just to show you some stuff over there. So right now, uh, I can switch this coloring gradient. I don't really like these colors in particular, so I'm going to go back uh, and now it looks a bit better for me. And we're red because we're John Adams and we're winning in most of these northeastern states in New England and uh, some of the and a lot of the northeast. We're also doing well in Maryland. We can hover on it and it gives us details. So we're, we've got we're winning by over 10 percent there. But in Pennsylvania, we're only winning by 5 percent. Uh, and just to check the national popular vote, we can click uh, click on this and winning very well there as well. Uh, generally, like in the last few games that I played, Jefferson did extremely well. He won most of the states. Um, but over here, we're actually doing pretty well. It, it, not one of most of the states. He won most of the popular vote, like over 60%. This time, he's just a percent behind him. And at electoral vote estimate, if we click on that, it shows us how many electoral votes were estimated to get based on this. And right now, based on this map, we've, we're going to get 87, which is a lot more than the 70 that we need to win. So let me go back to the game and answer these last two questions. Uh, let's just go with this normal one. It shouldn't change much. And now if we come back here, uh, nothing much has changed. We're doing well in both of these states. Uh, they're asking what state we want to campaign in next. I'm going to go with Virginia. We're probably going to win the other two states anyway, so I'm just going to go with Virginia. And click Continue. And now it, shows, uh, now it says this. Election night has arrived. Settle in and wait for the results. However long it may take. Best of luck. I'm going to click OK. There are no more questions to do, and I'll just sit and watch for these results. So yeah, we lost Virginia where we were campaigning, but we're going to win overall because we just need one more uh, electoral vote. It's 70 to win. We've got 69, and we've won now. So I'm just going to wait for these next two states to come. I should win both of them. Uh, and I can also click go to final results. Um, and now. All the states have come in. We've won. Just as they estimated it's the exact same thing as what they were planning on, uh, what they thought would happen. And but there's a lot more votes to come in, so I'm just going to skip that. Doesn't really matter. So go to final results. Uh, okay, it's here now. The Federalists control both chambers of Congress, and war with France is now only a matter of time. Uh, and over here it says some information. It gives some uh, important information. So the popular vote was close, but we won the electoral votes by a lot. The election map, it's the same thing as what we saw. You can click on it and look at some details. 
and the results by state uh, there are a lot of ways that you can sort it you can sort it by highest items percent some other stuff which you can look at which is all in the beginning i think yeah all of this it's just this table uh, a bit widened uh, and you can export the results and save them as a json file and then look at it later uh, but I, I don't think that's really important and you can also play again of course and change the theme over here uh, so that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you know when I make my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.